Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So as you guys may know, Global is finally going to be getting the revamped version or the updated version of the Broly Second Coming movie story event or the Family Kamehameha story event, whatever you want to call it, on October 31st, 2019, which of course is Halloween in about a week or so. And as you can see, JP got this revamp on July 1st, 2019, which was about four months ago. It's been a while, but you know what? It's all good. I'm used to it. At the very least, we're finally getting it, right? So anyways, guys, in today's video, I want to fill you in quickly on all the details you need to know about this story revamp before it officially comes out. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, the first very exciting thing that happens with all story revamps is that the entire story gets reset for all players. So even if you already cleared all the stages in the past and got all the free stones, you can now re-clear them and get the stones all over again, which is pretty freaking awesome, right? And in total, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then also 1, 2, 3 more from the missions for a grand total of 19 free Dragon Stones for all global players when the revamp officially drops on October 31st, which is a decent amount. And then the second big thing that's happening for this story event are the Dokkan Awakenings for these two characters, the, um, the Videl here, as well as the SR Trunks, who are both available from the old story event. And then we're also getting a new SR Goten, who also gets a Dokkan Awakening too. And all three of these characters are actually pretty solid free to play characters. I mean, to be fair, they're not like on the same level as the Kitsei Man we just got or the Dokkan Awakenings for Candy Vegito or Ghost Tanks. They're not quite that good, but they're still pretty solid, especially this Trunks who actually has a good amount of usability on the Legendary Goku event. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's actually take a look at these characters. So starting with this SR Trunks, this was his state before and he wasn't very good, but after the Dokkan Awakening, uh, he is going to be pretty solid. So his leader skill is STR types, uh, STR type enemies attack minus 40%, so basically useless. But his super attack raises defense and causes supreme damage to enemies. So the reason that he's good on the legendary Goku event is because he stacks defense infinitely. And on top of that, his passive gives him key plus 2 and attack plus 50% plus an additional Attack and defense plus 50% if there is a Goku's family category ally on the team, which really isn't too hard of a condition to meet at all. So I would say most of the time, this kid should have key plus 2, attack plus 100%, and defense plus 50% as his passive. And that combined with his rainbow attack stat of 10,291, which is pretty respectable for a free-to-play unit, that means he should at least be doing some damage i mean obviously not hitting super hard by any means but respectable damage for a free to play unit and from a defensive perspective he's going to be very very solid after some supers and his links are the innocents super saiyan money 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 budding warrior blazing battle and golden warrior and his categories are hybrid saiyans majin buu saga dragon ball seekers movie heroes vegeta's family youth and super saiyans so this kid is on a crap ton of categories and if you guys are missing units for any of these teams, then he's actually not a bad choice for a filler unit. So there you go guys, that is the AGL free to play Super Saiyan Kid Trunks. And I think those are all the details you guys need to know about him. Oh, you know what? Let's actually pop back to the event page real quick because there is one thing I forgot to tell you guys about that is also pretty freaking awesome about this event. And that is this one event allows you to farm the super attacks of quite a few characters in this game. So, for example, the base form SR Trunks pre-awakening allows you to farm the super attacks of other kid Trunkses in the game, and then once awakened, you can use him to farm the super attacks of other Super Saiyan kid Trunkses. And same thing with the Goten pre-awakened, you can use him to farm the super attacks of other kid Gotens. Post-awakening, you can use him to farm the super attacks of other Super Saiyan kid Gotens. And last but not least, we have Videl, who can be used to farm the supers of other details so one story event will allow you to farm the supers of five different characters in the game that's pretty freaking awesome and if you guys have been looking for something to do on global these days uh that should keep you busy for at least a little while right and there's also the medals 
So I believe there are five different uh, summonable units in this game that require medals from this event to fully awaken. Most notably, we have the Tech LR Broly. And for anybody that was lucky enough to pull this guy recently, first of all, I hate you. Congratulations, but I hate you. Just kidding. I mean, kind of. I'm salty. Not gonna lie, I'm salty, but I'm happy for you at the same time. So for anybody lucky enough to pull this guy or the GoBros recently, Actually, you couldn't have pulled them recently, but like in the past and you didn't awaken them yet, definitely take advantage of this event, get all the medals we need to fully awaken them. And then there's also the other three Extreme Z Awakenable uh, Family Kamehameha units, the STR Goku, the AGL Gohan, and also the STR Goten right there. And I think that is it for the summonable units. So yeah, definitely take advantage, get the medals to awaken your Broly, your Go Bros, your EZA Family Kamehameha units. They're all very, very good, especially the Go Bros and the LR uh, Broly. And of course, you can always use the keys once the event goes away to farm the medals, but why wouldn't you just do it now, right? So there you go, guys. Um, I think those are all the additional details about the story event. And let's move back to the free-to-play units. Oh, what happened? I zoomed in by accident. Okay, there we go. Next up is the STR Videl, who was already a card that was available from the story event, like I said, but now she has an awakening. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, I really, really like this artwork for her awakened form. And I'm gonna say something that might be a little bit controversial, that might be a little bit polarizing, that might piss off a few people, but I think I prefer short hair Videl here um, to Pigtail Videl. Anyways, random side note, doesn't really matter. Let's get back to the unit. Her leader skill is key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50% for STR types, and her super attack is Moonsault Kick, causes supreme damage, and it greatly lowers defense, which is pretty good. And her passive aggression, key plus one up to three, and attack and defense plus 20% up to 60% per movie heroes, category ally on the team, and great chance of attack and defense plus 30% for all allies. So obviously I wish that this was guaranteed, but great chance is still pretty good, 70%. That's pretty high, right? So she obviously can fit on quite a few teams in this game because she is technically a rainbow support unit, but she is definitely best suited for the movie heroes team since she can get her full passive on that team. And her links are Infighter, Cold Judgment, Courage, Battlefield Diva, Blazing Battle, Money, 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 and Shattering the Limit. And her categories are Peppy Gals, Dragon Ball Seekers, and Movie Heroes. So overall, a very solid support type unit here in the uh, STR Videl. And last but not least, let's move on to the physical uh, Goten. And as you can see, he starts as a base form Goten and then Dokkan Awakens into Super Saiyan. And his leader skill is Int Type Enemies, attack minus 40%. So just like the Trunks, not a terribly useful leader skill, unfortunately. And his super attack is Kamehameha, raises attack by 30% and that lasts for 99 turns, and causes supreme damage to enemy. And his passive is Lessons from the Strong, E plus 2 and defense plus 50%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% if there is a Vegeta's family category ally on the team. So once again, not super hard to fulfill, so a lot of times he should have E plus 2, defense plus 100%, and attack plus 50% as his passive. And his links are Innocent, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, Blazing Battle, and Golden Warrior. And his categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Youth, Siblings Bond, Super Saiyans, and Kamehameha. I think he actually has one or two more categories more than the Trunks. So yeah, once again, a pretty good filler for any of these teams if you guys are missing units. And that is all you need to know about this Kid Trunks as, or Kid Goten, sorry, as well. A uh, pretty solid unit, just like the Trunks. And that's it, guys. I think those are all the details you need to know about this event overall. Uh, we're getting all the stones again, up to 19 stones for clearing everything. And we get three, well, technically one new unit and two new awakenings, which are all very good. Um, and you can farm a lot of super attacks, or the super attacks for a lot of units with the farmable units in this event, which should keep us busy on global for a little while until, I don't know, the next major celebration or something like that. And that is gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hope you're excited for this new event to drop. I know I personally am because my standards right now for global are very, very low since 
it's been as dry as the freaking Sahara Desert for the last couple weeks. So anything new is definitely welcome. So as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.